everyone we hope you've had a lovely easter and you're feeling ready and refreshed to come back to your online learning in maths this week we're going to be looking at fractions decimals and percentages and today we're going to focus on converting between all three so i would like to look at this hundred square here it's called a hundred square because there's a hundred squares in we've got 10 going across horizontally 10 going down vertically and 10 times 10 is 100. now i've colored one of these squares in so if i wanted to know what fraction of the shape i've colored in well i've colored in one out of a hundred so the fraction will be one a hundredth now i can convert that to a percentage quite easily because the word percent means out of a hundred and because I've got 100 as my denominator there, I know that my percentage, I can just look straight at the numerator, which is 1, and it's 1%. And that's because the denominator is 100, and percent means out of 100. Now, to write that as a fraction, because looking at our wallet for today, we're converting between fractions, decimals, and percentages. So the decimal, let's have a look at what we would do. Now, when we're thinking about decimals, this column is the tenths, and this column is the hundredths. So if we've, if we've got one hundredth coloured in, that digit there would be a one. So one hundredth as a decimal would look like this, 0 0.01. So as a fraction, we've got one hundredth. As a percentage, we've got 1%. And as a decimal, we've got 0 0.01. Let's have a look at another example. Here, I've got 10 squares coloured in. So the fraction of the shape coloured in is 10 out of 100. Now, just looking at that, we know because the denominator is 100, we know that percent means out of 100. So we know the percentage of a shape coloured is 10%. If I wanted to simplify that fraction, which you quite often have to do, especially on your my maths homework, I would get 1 10. As a decimal, let's think about it then, one-tenth. So think about your columns, one-tenth, these are your tenths, they're your hundredths. One-tenth, that means that digit would be a one. So one-tenth as a decimal would look like that, 0 0.1. Let's have a look at another example. We've got the hundred square, we've got 10. 20, 30. So we've got 30 out of 100 coloured in. So the fraction is 30 a hundredths. So that as a percentage, well, percent means out of 100, it would be 30%. And again, if I wanted to simplify this fraction, 30 out of 100, I could simplify it and get 3 tenths. Thinking about that as a decimal, 3 tenths, think about which is a tenth column, it'll be 0 0.3 as a decimal. So we've just done decimal fractions and percentages all there. Let's have a look at another one. This one, we've got one, two, three, four. Four coloured in, four out of a hundred. So the fraction will be four hundredths. So what percentage of that shape is coloured in? Well, the denominator is a hundred. So we can just look at the numerator, which is four. So we've got 4% of that shape is coloured in. So let's have a look at the decimal now. Four hundredths. So think back. So which column we're going to be looking in for a hundredths? And that's right, it will be 0 0.04. Well done if you got that right. Okay, a little bit trickier here. We've got 10 coloured in. So we've got a tenth there. And we've got four extra. So that's 14 out of 100. So the fraction is 14 a hundredth. The percent is 14%. And then for the decimal, we've got one tenth. And we've got four hundred, so it'd be zero point one four. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, we'll move on from that because I think we're getting it. Let's have a look at these now without the hundred grid, the hundred square. So we've got twenty six hundredths. So as a decimal, it would be so twenty six hundredths. We've got two tenths and six hundredths, zero point two six. And the percentage, that's right, it will be twenty six percent. Let's have a look at this one. We've got two hundredths, two hundredths. So that means I have that full square. <coughs> Excuse me. Two squares are coloured in. So as a decimal, so that's two hundredths, it would be 0 0.02. And as a percentage, percent means out of 100, so it'd be 2%. This one's 7800. Now as a decimal, it would be 0 
and as a percentage, you're absolutely right, it'd be 78%. Now, some of these you might just know, but they also do link back to 100 square. But let's just have a little recap. So half of the decimal is 0 0.5, which is a percentage, is 50%. A quarter is 0 0.25, which is a percentage is 25%. And three quarters is 0 0.75, which as a percentage is 75%. Now, some of you might notice there, well, 0 0.75 and 75%. All I've done is I've times that by 100, haven't I, to get the percentage. So more key ones here to help you, one fifth is 0 0.2, so that's 20%. And if I know that, if I know one fifth is 0 0.2, I can work out two fifths, so it must be 0 0.1. I've got one eighth, which is 0 0.125, and I've got one third, which is 0 0.3333333. It's 0 0.3 recurring. It means that three keeps going on and on and on. Okay, let's move on a little bit. Let's have a look at some decimals to percentages. So 0 0.25. If you just know these, fabulous. If you don't, and if you've not got the fraction, because remember, when you've got a fraction, if the denominator is 100, to work out as a percentage, you just look at the numerator. However, sometimes the, the denominator isn't 100, so we need to have a look at how we can work that out. So 0 0.25 is a percentage. Now, because percent means out of 100, what do you think we do to that to get the percentage? Exactly right, we times it by 100. So 0 0.25 would become 25%. 0 0.75 would become 75%. 0 0.5 would become 50% and 0 0.02 would become 2%. So to get from the decimal to the percentages, we have times by 100 because percent means out of 100. Right, on your My Maths activity to go with this, you might be asked questions like this. So you might be asked, what is 37 hundredths as a decimal? Well, we've already looked at this and we can think back to our 100 square. 37 hundredths. So we've got three tenths and we've got seven hundredths. So you've got your decimal point, three tenths, and your seven hundredths. 37 hundredths. Now, as a percent, again, it's dead easy because we've got a hundred as a denominator. So we just look at the numerator and it becomes 37%. Excuse my writing on this. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So we've got three fifths. So this is what I mean when sometimes it's a little bit trickier because the denominator is not 100. But what we can do is two things. We can either think back to what we already know. Now, we've already looked at one fifth is 0 0.2. We know that. So if one fifth is 0 0.2, two fifths must be 0 0.4. So three fifths must be 0 0.6. That's a way to do it. And then we've just looked at a way to get from decimals to percentages. We can times by 100 because percent means out of 100. So if I times that by 100, I would get 60%. Now, another way of doing it is you might make this denominator into a hundredth. So draw my fraction line. Right, what have I got to times 5 by to get to 100? Well, I know I've got to times it by 20. Um, because I've times the denominator by 20, I've got to times the numerator by 20. So the new fraction I've now made is 60 a hundredths. A little bit small there, but never mind, 60 a hundredths. So 60 hundredths is equivalent to three fifths. And again, we can use this to help us do the decimals and percentages. So 60 a hundredths, the denominator is 100. We'll look at the numerator so we know it's 60%, which we've already said. And then we can do 60, a hundredth. We'd simplify that and get six tenths. And then we'll put 0 0.6, which is six in your tenth column. On your mind maths as well in this lesson, you might get asked to change some decimals to percentages. So let's have a look at this 0 0.37. Well, I can do the inverse to what we've just done to get from a decimal to a percent, we times it by 100. So don't you need to, you need to do the inverse, do it. So 0 0.37 as a percentage times it by 100 be 37%. 
and then to work out as a fraction, well, let's think about that 100 square, 37%, what does it actually mean? It means 37 squares out of the 100. And that's how we get it into 100. Let's have a look at this one, 0 0.7. So to get it into percentage, we're going to times by 100, because percent means out of 100. So that would be 70%. And for a fraction now, let's think back to the 100 square. 70% means 70, I call it in, out of 100. You could also put for that, you could put 7 tenths. 7 tenths is equivalent to 70 or 100, so you've got 7 tenths. Or you might ask the task as well, you might get asked this. You might get asked to convert percentages to fractions. So 10%, well I know that means 10 out of 100. Imagine that 100 square, 10 out of 100. You might be asked to simplify it. So in this case, that simplify will be 1 tenth. And if you listen to it, one ten. Think about the decimal. Where's it going? Zero point. You've got your hundred, your tenths column there, and then your hundreds there. So one tenth will be zero point one. Fifty percent. You might just know that anyway. It's fifty out of a hundred, or simplified to its simplest form, will be a half. And as a decimal, zero point five. You might just know these anyway. Thirty percent. Well, we can use what we've just done there. If 10% is 1 tenth, 30% is going to be 3 tenths or 30 out of 100. And 3 tenths, well if 1 tenth is 0 0.1, 3 tenths is 0 0.3. It's a lot about using what you know as well. 37%, oof, right. Let's think about that 100 square. It means 37 out of 100. That's what it means, a fraction, doesn't it? That can't be simplified, so we can leave that as it is. It's a decimal, 37 hundredths, so let's think about that. We've got three tenths and then seven hundredths, so 0 0.37. And the final one then, 6%, we've got six, let's think, think about that 100 square. We've got six coloured in, out of 100. So we've got six hundredths which is a decimal, listen to it, six or hundredths, so no tenths, just six or hundredths, so it would be 0 0.06, okay? And that is your lesson for today. So your task now is to, I'm not going to do that activity there, we're going to move straight on to here. So your task is work through the lesson on the mind maths. Don't just go straight to the homework because it's useful to have a good recap. So work through the lesson on the My Maths, then complete the homework, and then try the homework several times. If you're not getting 100%, have a few goals and see if you can score 100%. Okay, good luck everyone.